Hello and welcome to Electrotides. This is the part one of the series on filters and we will be introducing you to the filters in this tutorial. We will try to understand what a filter is, where do we need them and how are they classified. So let's get started. A circuit that passes a specific range of signal frequencies while blocking the other frequencies is called as a filter. Let's look it through an example to understand it better. Consider a filter that allows frequencies after a frequency fh to pass but doesn't allow other frequencies to pass. Now we input a signal that has all the frequency components in it and we, and we pass it through the filter. Then the output of filter contains signals only of the frequency that our filter allows. So this will be the frequency response of our output. I hope that this example gives a basic understanding of what a filter does. Now let's look at some of the applications of filters. Let's say we have a DC power supply. Then it may contain some high frequency noise in it. Filters that allow low frequency to pass through it can be used to get a noise free supply. So we use filters to generate noise free power supply. Equalizers used in music industry that adjust bass, treble etc of music are made using filters. Filters are extensively used in radio communications and there are many more applications of filters. Filters are mainly categorized into two types, active filters and passive filters. If a filter is designed using passive elements like resistor, inductor or capacitor, then it is called as a passive filter. But active filters are made using active components like op-amps, transistors along with passive components. Passive filters are most responsive to frequencies between 100 Hz and 300 MHz. Active filters on the other hand can handle very low frequencies but they, are, but they become unreliable after around 100 kHz. Active filters can provide voltage gain to the input signal but that is not the case with passive filters where the filters can only attenuate. We will be going to further details and learn how to build filters in coming tutorials. Based on the frequency that a filter allows to pass through it, filters can also be classified as low pass, high pass, band pass, band stop and all pass. This filters working is very intuitive as a low pass filter allows the low frequencies to pass through it but blocks the higher frequencies. Similarly, a high pass filter blocks the low frequencies and allows high frequencies to pass through it. Band pass filter allows a band of frequencies to pass through it while blocking the other frequencies. Band stop filter blocks a band of frequencies and allows other frequencies to pass through it. All pass filter allows all the frequencies to pass through it equally. This ends the introduction of filters and subscribe for more electronics tutorials.